The Lawyers Collective Sri Lanka issued a statement today clarifying the facts surrounding the proposal to postpone the elections. The statement was signed by President's Councils Upur Jaya Surya, Dr. Jayampati Vikramaratna, Dinal Phillips, Salia Piris, S.T. Jayanaga, Upur Kubara Peruma, and Professor Deepika Udugama. In the statement, the Lawyers Collective said that the mass people's uprising, the Aragalaya, was a recall of the mandate given to all parliamentarians, particularly the members forming the two-thirds majority in parliament. The people signalled a complete lack of public confidence in the head of the executive and the government of the day. The statement adds that the current president, having taken office in this context, is duty-bound to uphold democracy and surrender to the sovereignty of the people. The statement highlighted that one of his key tasks ought to have been to restore legitimacy to these institutions of government without delay. According to the statement, instead, the president refused to hold the local government elections in 2023 and is steamrolling a legislative agenda that is repressive and authoritarian with the support of a legislative majority that has lost its legitimacy. Article 30 sub Article 2 states that the office of the President shall be for a period of five years. Article 62 sub Article 2 states that the term of any parliament shall be five years. Any change to the constitution to extend the term of one or either of these organs of the state require a constitutional amendment. Such a constitutional amendment would no doubt require a two-thirds majority in parliament and a referendum of the people because it seeks to change the way in which the sovereignty of the people is expressed. The Lawyers Collective Sri Lanka stressed that it would be an amendment to fundamentally change the basic structure of the constitution. The statement added that such a proposal completely undermines the sovereignty of the people and is made in bad faith and in ignorance or deliberate dismissal of the constitution. The statement raises the question whether a two-thirds majority in parliament and a 50% plus one majority of the people can make any amendment of the constitution. The statement also raises the question, quote unquote, is not the amending process governed also by the principle of constitutional morality?